What is something about yourself that sounds totally made up but is 100% real? I was the best man on both sides of a lesbian wedding because I had dated both the bride and the bride, stayed close friends and introduced them to each other after our breakups. You, sir, are a true bro. Yeah, he may not be a girl, but he was the best man they ever dated. I was at a store when Tony Hawk was signing autographs. I was only 10 at the time and was a huge fan. One of his early video games had just come out. The store had a couple TVs on the wall and some video games to play. Being a kid I waited for one controller to open up and someone leave. A kid ended up leaving and I grabbed the controller and started playing and minding my own business. A couple minutes later the store wanted to grab photos of Tony playing his own video game. He came over and grabbed the second controller and began to play multiplayer with me. Probably played for 10 minutes. The bonus was it was also my 10th birthday. So I played Tony Hawk Pro Skater with Tony Hawk. Edit. Wow I made this comment and didn't return to Reddit until just now. Was not expecting it to be that big of a hit. Thank you. I do not have photos of myself playing the game with him but I believe my parents have a couple of photos of me with him and getting his autograph. I still have the signboard on my wall. I've published four peer-reviewed scientific papers on hamster testicles. Edit. Holy shit. I never thought I would write this. But rip my inbox. I'm currently working on a critical COVID-related project which doesn't involve testicles and thus would be much less exciting for redditing purposes. This reminds me of a column I read in the Dallas Morning News 20 plus years ago about the woman who was the first head of the insect zoo at the dinky little natural history museum Monsieur. She had been a biology major and into bugs and was working in a lab when a friend found out that the museum was looking for a director for its new bug zoo. She got a phone interview with some museum bigwig, who asked what she was currently doing. She replied, I've been dissecting female mosquitoes to find out if they're virgins. He replied, you're hired, that's nuts. A pelican engulfed my head with its massive fucking beak when I was a small child. Pelicans are cunts. Pelicunts. I won two TV game shows. The $10,000 Pyramid. Won $10,300. In 1975, and, Sale of the Century. Was on the show for nine days. Won $34,000 in cash and prizes. In 85, nice. I've never won anything in my life. Now you have smiley face. I got ran over by a car. But the driver didn't see me and proceeded to back over me. Edit. Thanks for all the kind words. I'm shocked at the amount of people who said that this happened to them or someone they know, knew. As well. The world really is a weird place. And for all who are asking. Asterisk my legs are perfectly fine now. On a side note, I actually really enjoy running. It's one of my favorite things to do. Asterisk no I'm not from China nor have I ever lived there. I'm American. I don't quite understand why people are asking this. Edit number 2. A couple Redditors have pointed out to me that it's because killing someone in China is apparently less expensive, which is a horrifying thought. But thanks for the explanations. Edit number 3. How is my mental health? Was I traumatized? Well, it very fucking terrifying at the time and I was definitely scared of cars afterwards. But if you're asking if I'm feeling any trauma to this day, then I would say not very much if at all. Thanks for asking though. Is he dead? No. Throws it into reverse. Put it in reverse Terry! Exclamation mark. Did you get any major injuries? Luckily they didn't get my torso, but they crushed my legs. This was about when I was 13 to 14, about 4 to 5 years ago. So my legs yield and I'm walking again. I ran out of gas outside of La Paz, Bolivia. Luckily it was downhill for about 6 kilometers into the city. I coasted the whole way on my motorbike, passed buses and drifted into a gas station. Never missed a beat. Sounds like you saved a liter of fuel to me. 
At age 50 odd and with limited to no video game experience, my mother completed Mario 64 before I did. In about half the time it finally took me to do it. Get good, sweetie. My brother is 31. I'm 19. And when he was born his grandmother. We don't share the same father. Bought him a NES. My mother. Not knowing what to do with it. Turned it on and played Super Mario Brothers. She spent two months every day trying to beat the game. Even buying a strategy guide to go through it. She beat the game and never touched a video game again. When I was a kid, I woke up to find my cat giving birth to her kittens on my pillow. One inch from my face. I took it as a compliment. It totally is. That's like the Cat Congressional Medal of Honor. Right. If a cat closes its eyes around you it means it trusts you. But if it fucking births kittens inches from your face you must be like family. Edit. I should include Sleepung as well. The Olive Garden, when the cat gives birth near ya face, your family. I'm related to William Henry Harrison, the president who died from hypothermia because he wouldn't wear a jacket. My great-grandfather and his son both died from hypothermia as well but under slightly different experiences. I have almost died from eating way too many vitamins, jumping into a ceiling fan, and jumping from a cliff. My dad almost lit a gas station on fire. Basically, we are a very dumb bloodline starting from William Henry Harrison. Someone get this man an agent. And a jacket. When my mom was in grad school she took several labs where she worked with cadavers. Because my dad worked nights she often had to take me to class with her. And she'd usually just plonk me down on the table with a cadaver while she worked on it. Can I go to work with you, over my dead body? Slams body bag onto breakfast table. Laugh track. So ah, uh, working from home today mom? Quote. Stairs. More laugh track. That's too much man. I was once sponsored by the Crunk Energy Drink Company for sailing. I imagine I was the only sailor on their list I literally just emailed them saying that I sailed. And asked if they wanted me to put stickers on my boat. They sent me a few cases of the drink. T-shirts. Hats. The works. My car was known as the Kronk Mobile. I saw the former Prime Minister of Poland in his underwear. That's not how the rhyme goes. I see London, I see France, I see the Prime Minister of Poland in his underpants. I can see a hat, I can see a cat, I can see the Prime Minister's baseball bat. Husband and I fell in love at first sight. Moved in together after two days. Married five months later. Still married. It will be 40 years in May. Congrats on 40 years. That's amazing. I want to find love like that someday. I am one of very few people outside WW1 to live through mustard gas. So rare the doctors. 1995 no internet. Had no idea how to treat me. How? THK's 4. Award. Pure, child, stupidity. I grew up in a sparsely populated High Sierra community with lots of empty vacation homes. One of these homes was under construction about a block. There were no blocks in reality just long windy roads cutting through the forest. And the construction crew would just leave the half-finished house open between shifts because, no. On lives here anyway. K me. A retard. Me and a friend decided to stumble into the home and fuck around with Rondo stuff. I saw a large vat used for mixing liquids. And poured an entire bucket of industrial cleaning liquid into it. I went and got another large bucket full of chems. Don't mix Rondo industrial chems children. And dump that in there too. Huge yellow gas explosion in my face. I got about 15 feet away before collapsing and beginning to retch yellow goo and vomit everywhere. No breathing now. Just gasping and vomiting goop. My friend ran to get my mom. She called ambulance. They put me in a helicopter and sent me to UC Davis Medical Center. My doctor eventually made contact with someone who knew how to treat my case through the internet. I had never heard of it. Two weeks in the ICU. Almost died. And my lungs are still fucking trash. I am 34 now. 
I got hernia by sneezing too hard. I got mine trying to match my wife's pregnant belly. Pop. I feel sorry for laughing. What a way to get it. I cannot see 3D effects in movies or games. I didn't know that until a friend showed me his new Nintendo 3DS and I asked him whether this thing was a scam because it didn't look any different to me than a normal DS. We had a fight over this because we both thought the other one was bullshitting. Hi monsieur. You're holding it wrong. How the fuck do you not see this? Quote. Are you fucking kidding me right now? There's nothing 3D about this thing. One of my ancestors was dumb and bought one of Napoleon's doorknobs. It turns out it's fake. Doorknobs were invented after Napoleon died. I'm intrigued by the fact that this is the story that your family decided to pass on from one generation to the next far enough to lose track of the relation and just refer to the subject as ancestor. My great-great-grandfather was a Pinkerton detective, acted on vaudeville, and had five wives in two different states that knew nothing of each other. He also slightly changed his last name each time and never got caught until Ancestry website happened lol. Sounds a bit like my great-grandfather. He had a wife in France, and then two in the US in neighboring counties. He was caught though. My great-grandmother was wife number two. She found out about wife number three and divorced time monsieur no one knew about the first wife in France. Until I pulled his service records from World War I. Once in college I applied for a job at the library help desk. I figured I would help people find books. Didn't give it much more thought than that. During the interview, I asked all of the customer service questions. Then they asked me whether I knew how to defrag a hard drive. Few alarm bells in my head. But I kept calm outwardly and said no. But you can teach me. I worked in IT for three years by accident. They were too nice to fire me. I made my last boss swear on her life she wouldn't call me for tech support. They call my cell when I'm sick in bed and ask how to reinstall the printer not a dang week later. I once successfully ran an unfunded shelter for approximately 100 homeless veterans, as a homeless civilian. How did this come to be if I may ask? I've been in three fatal train accidents. Never had a scratch. Found the star of Unbreakable. I had my tongue surgically enhanced for more reach and flexibility when I was eight. Edit. I'm super jazzed by how many of us are out there. Interesting. I've never met anyone that has had their tongue clipped. Had mine done as a toddler and I guess they sort of overshot the mark because I ended up with a Gene Simmons style. I could not taste any salt whatsoever. Edit. For people asking it's a brain thing. Food tastes bland. Salted ships taste plain. And I've not had any British food. Edit 2. I can still taste other spices and herbs. No idk what cum tastes like. Sorry to put you on blast dude but that's weird. Salt water just tastes bad. MSG and other sodium based things just make me gag. Getting on Xbox, Overwatch, etc. doesn't help but I can smell the salt. What do you taste if you put a bit of salt in your mouth? Nothing you'll feel either but that abit. I was baptized by a serial killer. Well you can't just bloody leave us at that man. I took my mother for a surprise trip to NYC. She got married to my father there in 68. The surprise was manufactured by way of telling her we were going to Australia. We live in New Zealand. So a trip to Australia is not a huge deal. It's the type of thing you could do for the weekend. And therefore she packed a bag and brought her passport. We got to the airport and said surprise. We're going to New York and she cried her eyes out with delight. When we arrived, on our first morning, I said, okay, what do you want to do? Quote, she said, when I was last here, in 1968, the Twin Towers weren't complete. So, I'd like to go to the top of the Monsieur. Your wish is my command. I said, and off we went to the WTC. That was the afternoon of September 10th. 2001. Suffice it to say, there was a particular poignancy when we looked out the window at around 8 a.m. the next morning. Wish you could see my chills. 
arrested and spent three days in a holding cell for a crime that I didn't commit. About a year after the whole matter was done and dusted with. Mind you, I say didn't commit a crime, but I was involved in the story from start to finish. What was the crime you were accused of? My grandpa left his royal status to marry my grandma. Who's your grandpa? Prince Harry. He's from the future. I'm not gonna tell my ethnicity because it brings up stigma. My grandpa wasn't anyone relevant as he wasn't high on line for the crown. Back in the days it was kind of a huge deal for elites to marry elites. My grandpa didn't give two shits and left his family to marry my grandma. They lived on a farm where no one knows who he was. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.